And now all he's thinking is, please don't, please don't spin somebody out. Hey, look at this, three wide, are you kidding me? Purdy, Krause, Majeski. Battle for sixth right there, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Purdy has it for the moment. Looks like he's going to be able to, is he going to clear Majeski? No. no. How do they battle like that without wrecking one another? That was so close. I wouldn't tell Grant Enfinger about this. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, Jeff Hensley is watching this. Yes. There it is. Squeezed up nicely. Great job, Chase Purdy, to grab that sixth spot. Three remaining. Great work by our camera folks, catching this great battle. Grant Enfinger could have been a second and a half over Carson Osamar. He's on cruise control. He now two. Wants to make it one more time back around and see that white flag. Just going to say that. You want to get to the white because you know then the next caution ends the race. Next flag would end it. Whether it be the caution or the checkers. Going to hold his breath for about five more seconds till he sees that white flag. Some lap traffic in front of him. That won't matter. White flag is out. One to go for Grant Infinger at Milwaukee. Christian Eckes is right on the tailgate of Carson Hosovar in that battle for second right behind this leader. Now it's separated a little bit now. There's that battle. Watch the momentum. Eckes gets off the corner, closes right up toward the back of the 42 truck. What a day for Grant Infinger. Wins the pole, wins both stages, going to lead 96 laps. He hits him right between the eyes, gets his third win of the year. Grant Infinger delivers at Milwaukee. Hosovar gets second. Third for Eckes. Corey Hine led laps, finishes fourth. And quite the day for Matt Crafton. Top five for the three-time champion. What a performance by this champion team. And their championship hopes stay alive. Winning today blocks Grant Enfinger in to the round of eight. Both he and Majeski locked in will move on. We're hearing that Corey Heim also has clinched a spot. And Christian Eckes, so we already have four of our round of eight drivers already locked in. Matt Crafton made it climb from out of the basement up into contention to put himself in a position to transfer into our next round. Kosovar second, now plus 56 in a really good position, plus 29 for Zane Smith, although he did not have a great day, very comfortable as we go to the race that will end this round. Kansas happens in 12 days. What do you think we take care of this truck and don't do too crazy of a burnout? Could this be our Phoenix truck? I'd love to think we would run into Phoenix. 